it's so cute. And you can wear this in three different ways. You can take this part off and just have it as a little stud, or you can wear this part only, or you can just wear it as it is. It's so stunning. It's only a single earring, so you don't get one for the other ear, but it's so cute and it matches my necklace that I have as well. This is the rose gold. <laughs> today to the second Dior boutique. This is the one in Saint-Honoré and we have an appointment so come with us, let's see what we can find. have a couple of things that I'm going to try on there that's on hold for me. So wish me luck, let's see if it fits and let's go shopping. <music> Guys, so we're here outside of Dior Saint Honoré and they have the beautiful new season collection in their windows. Let's have a quick look at the other one. I mean, this is a stunning boutique. There's five floors of this beautiful boutique with men's home, women's, and children's wear. Okay, so let's go in. Oh, they have planned a parry in the front windows as well, guys. to Dior Saint-Honoré, the absolutely beautiful boutique. So this is the back area of ready to wear. As you can see, they've got a little bit left of the Mumbai collection. And then you've got the Riviera right here. Beautiful, beautiful pinks. And yes, this is my favorite little dress from very Carrie Bradshaw influenced. And then you've got the most beautiful display of Lady Dior's here, the classic colours. So yes, it's beautiful upstairs. You have three floors for women and two for men. And look at the absolutely gorgeous Flori Legio collection here, everyone. I mean, I'm so obsessed with this print, as you already know. But when you come and visit the collection laid out for you in Paris, it's sort of something else, isn't it? collection already from me in my previous vlog which I'll put up in the corner but just look how beautiful they have visually merchandised the collection guys and obviously that's the trench of the season beautiful asymmetric neckline they do have some pieces that I haven't seen in London like this beautiful shirt which is in the same fabric as the trench with the prints so it's a little bit more structured 
and quick little outfit of the day while I'm in front of the mirror. So I'm wearing the Flori Legio two-piece today. This is the denim jacket and the hot pants shorts, beautiful, with the Jadior classic slingbacks. And I have got a reversible Dior belt, with it, which is pink on one side and cream on the other. Basic t-shirt and the Riviera cat's eye pink sunglasses with a Chanel heart bag on the front. Actually, I have got the pink Cara bag, but I didn't really want to wear that with this because I didn't want to get color transfer on it. Yes, yeah, so have a little look. Then you've got the skirt here, which I always gravitate towards, but I have got the dress already. That's the classic trench that you've always been asking me about from my previous vlog, which I'll put on the top for you. And then these are some new pieces as well. These are also made in the trench fabric. This is a button through midi skirt, probably a maxi on me. It would be so fully, let's have a little look in the mirror. It'd be so full skirted. I mean, it has a great amount of structure to it already. So it is not as fluid as the previous skirt that I have, which is this one here. This one is a lot more fluid, but I do love the rigidity of it. And you've got lovely large patch pockets as well. And then here on the back wall, you've got the Edith Piaf inspired collection, all about the little black dress. This is metallic yarns. So if you squish it, it will keep its shape. Very three dimensional, the houndstooth capsule collection. Here is the bar jacket again in the houndstooth really lovely coordinated pieces and especially with Edith Piaf as the inspiration you've got her quotes here this really lovely one that says je ne regrette rien I do not regret anything wow this is lovely a lurex boucle jacket <laughs> dress which is actually the size 42 so it's a size smaller to the 44 that I tried on in Avenue Montan and I'm also going to try on the bar jacket in my size so let's have a look how they look <laughs> Right guys, so this is the size 42 and I have to say it does cinch you in much better on the waist than the 44 and because it cinches me in better here, it makes the skirt blues on more so it's a lot fuller as you can see with the movement so I think this is the better size for me but I'll just compare it to the 44 now and show the SA and see what she thinks but what do you think? <laughs> So I'm trying on the classic bar jacket in black. This is a size 42. And what I love about this jacket is it's designed to really accentuate your waist. So as soon as you put it on, it feels almost like everything is just holding you in. Very corseted feel, even though it's not boned. And the pockets are just so gorgeous. They just sleep on you. You can just slip your hands in like that. So I do love this jacket and I have always wanted it. And what I probably would do is if I bought this, I would probably need to get the sleeves shortened. But what do we think together? It looks so pretty with the slingbacks, the skirt of the dress and the jacket. This is why I'm thinking, I mean, you can see the lining of the dress because I haven't put it on fully just to show you the look. But what I love is I've always liked the full skirts, but I don't really need to buy the full skirt if I have the maxi dress. So if you are thinking like me, you love the skirts and you do like your dresses in the summer, then I would recommend to buy the dress and just put a lovely blazer on top and it looks like you're wearing the skirt. And also what I'm trying on here is the beautiful earrings. So if I just zoom in, 
you can see it goes with my necklace that I have here and it's so pretty in fact let me turn the camera around So cute and you can wear this in three different ways you can take this part off and just have it as a little stud or you can wear this part only or you can just wear it as it is it's so stunning it's only a single earring so you don't get one for the other ear but it's so cute and it matches my necklace that I have as well this is the rose gold with the black onyx stunning That boutique was absolutely gorgeous. Dior, Rue Saint Honoré, oh my gosh. So yes, we headed back to the hotel. We've just had something to eat at Relais Madeleine Cafe just off of Saint Honoré. And we're now heading to the Seine to walk along the river. I mean, today is a little bit more overcast than the last couple of days, which is great to just wander and walk, to be honest. So, yes, I will catch up with you later. We need to discuss what do we think of that beautiful boutique. Oh, so, um, just your average view by the river. Have a look. Hello everyone, so we are now having a little stroll along the Seine. As you can see over here, we've got the lovely Eiffel Tower. So we're walking along the River Seine. We're heading towards Trocadero and we're just gonna take a little stroll until a couple of hours time where we're gonna head back to the hotel and get ready for dinner. We've got a really lovely posh dinner, I should say tonight, which is at Gigi Paris. So can't wait for that one. And yes, I thought I would quickly debrief because I've had the most wonderful couple of days enjoying visits at the two Dior boutiques. So yesterday was Dior Avenue Montan, the absolutely fantastic flagship store. And today was, this morning was Dior Saint Honoré. I mean, they're so different in their own right. And I have to say today's one, the five floor Dior Saint Honoré, it's more intimate than the flagship store. You can tell they've designed the store to have like little sections around the floor so you can feel more intimate in your own space. And the changing rooms are absolutely enormous. And I can feel like a different sense of community in that store as well. Whereas the flagship store is so spacious, it's huge. You've got the wonderful display, you have the cafe. I mean, there's so much to say about both boutiques but what I do want to say right now is thank you thank you thank you to my essay of this morning at San Honoré thank you for looking after me and having the item ready for me to try on so basically now I can share with you my little ramble so I placed a preview order on the Florilegio maxi dress or is it a midi dress maxi on me and the sizes hadn't come into London yet so I thought well I'm going to Paris let me just go and try on the size that I ordered here and the one that I ordered was the 44 but I must have lost some weight because the 44 felt a little bit roomy on the waist and with Dior's collection they always accentuate the tight waist the small waist with the bigger full skirted hemline so luckily my essays in London managed to reserve both a 44 at Avenue Montan and a 42 at Saint Honoré so today I went back to Saint Honoré to try on the 42 and I have made a decision and I hopefully will be wearing it during this wonderful holiday in Paris so stay tuned for that so yes thought I'd have a little debrief and send my amazing thank yous to the sales associates today I had a couple of wonderful wonderful girls that looked after me specifically to one of you when you do come to London look me up and we'll meet up for a drink so yes oh, I think the sun's coming out so let's keep walking and I'll catch you guys later
dinner time and we have a reservation here at Gigi Paris and we're just about to tuck into it but I'm not going to vlog too much, just want to sort of switch off and enjoy but I'll share a couple of sneaky vids later on. Bon appétit! Right, today we're going to the Marché de Enfant Rouge, which is a food market. Let's have a look and see. Ooh, it's quite busy for a Saturday. Hey guys, so we're having an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. It's a little bit breezy, I have to say, but once the wind stops, it's really, really lovely. So we're just killing a couple of hours before we head to the Eiffel Tower. So it's Saturday afternoon and we've got the Eiffel Tower booked for 4.40. And we are here inside the Jardin Tuileries, which is one of the most beautiful landscaped botanical gardens let me show you behind me for example beautiful beautiful lots of foliage everywhere and what I love about this place is there's so many fountains that you can just literally sit there with a little deck chair and what we were thinking is rather than sort of pack our last few days up with lots and lots of things to do that would be you know the usual the Eiffel Tower and Montmartre and things like that it's just nice to pull up a pew and sit down and soak in the vitamin D in a different city. I mean, we're from London, so we love the city anyway. But it's just, it's so, there's so much history and architecture here. And it's just, I mean, they wouldn't really say that I like that, to be honest with you. But, you know, it's just lovely just to sit around history and feel that you're in a different city on holiday as opposed to have to pack it in with so many different things. That being said, we do have the Eiffel Tower today. We've done that before, but we wanted to go up and relive those lovely moments from last year. And we are going to do Montmartre tomorrow, so go for a long walk before our dinner again tomorrow afternoon. So yes, anyways, catch you later.